Hello, I'm Nigel Hughes. I'm the uh, project leader for the European Health Data and Evidence Network, EDEN, Scientific Director in Epidemiology at uh, Janssen Pharma R&D. And I'm going to describe the recent data partner call we had for the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, the pandemic of, course, of sars coronavirus 2 and COVID-19 disease has been characterised uh, in some respects between the limited amount of knowledge that we have had and the lack of knowledge that we have currently, in, in part related to a lack of available data, either prior to the pandemic or certainly now. And this is very much impacting on decision making, uh, both at a clinical and policy level. And many of us are obviously concerned enough to want to address this. Also, the OHDSI, the Observation of Health Data and Sciences Informatics Odyssey, a global collaboration, held a study a thon, um, an intense uh, study process over four days from the 26th to the 29th of March, where they utilised characterised data from uh, over 30 data partners from around the world, uh, with over 330 researchers from over 30 countries, all involved in working on uh, literature review, uh, characterization studies, uh, estimation studies, and, and uh, uh, patient level prediction studies, uh, utilizing uh, prior data from, for instance, influenza, what data was currently available at the time from, uh, for instance, uh, South Korea, who had an open data initiative supported by the government, which is to be uh, applauded, um, and numerous other data partners uh, internationally um, to, to support this. Um, but clearly there were gaps, and there were particular gaps in hospital data, and of course a lot of COVID-19 patients are cared for in hospitals, particularly in intensive or critical care settings, and certainly also uh, in um, uh, social care settings, of course, uh, residential and nursing homes and so forth. And uh, much of this data is still not readily accessible, easily accessible, um, either prior to the pandemic and certainly now. So as a consequence, the European Health Data and Evidence Network, EDEN, which is a IMI, Innovative Medicines Initiative funded project, um, one of the largest of its kind in Europe, working on harmonising uh, health data from electronic health records in hospitals, primary care settings, from claims databases, regional and uh, cohorts and registries and so forth, um, across uh, all types of diseases, uh, working to harmonise that data to the OMOP common data model, which is part of the Odyssey uh, methods and tooling available for observation on real world research. So we're using uh, the common data model, uh, working with trained and certified SME, small to medium enterprises, data partners, um, and key stakeholders in the in the open science and research community, and now applying this uh, beyond our usual scope of the project to COVID nineteen, and we had an open, uh, rolling public call uh, from uh, April sixteenth until May the fourteenth, uh, for those uh, potential data partners, those applicants with clinical data uh, for COVID nineteen patients. Uh, and um, particularly in the hospital setting, but not exclusively, primary care and others as well. And um, we received by the deadline on the 14th of May, uh, approximately 75 applications, which was an unprecedented response. Uh, this was a rolling call, so we're already working with some of the earlier received applications to start uh, harmonising and mapping their source data to the OMOP common data model. Um, but so now we have a very large number of applications over the last few days of the call to uh, work on with our selection committee of internal and external experts to the project. And over the coming weeks, we will be working now with many of the selected data partners to initiate this mapping cycle to the OMOP common data model using a task force of EDEN partners. And some of our certified SMEs are very kindly volunteered pro bono to collaborate on this initiative against the pandemic. Ultimately, when the data is mapped, all data partners retain control of their uh, their data. It's a federated system, so all data stays local. 
but we will support sending queries, research, questions around this network with those data partners who consent and have the governance approval to be involved in such studies and also to continue to support the ongoing Odyssey Study-a-thon, which was initiated, as I said earlier, on 26th to 29th of, of March, uh, with continuing studies um, to characterise uh, the disease, um, treatments uh, and outcomes and support things like prediction modelling and so forth as well. And of course, much wider research aims and initiatives within Europe and internationally. So we're very much looking forward to working with our applicant data partners from all around Europe, um, from 22 countries, which is remarkable, uh, in achieving a, a common aim to generate further deeper insights into this pandemic and understand how best to respond to it. Hopefully, in the, in the coming months, as we see uh, what happens after the initial peaks and the further development of the uh, pandemic during the summer and winter months.